to be a part of the Star Wars universe? It is what the Americans call awesome. It's fantastic. It is. Uh, if we if we had dreams as kids of uh, of uh, of being actors, this would be a childhood dream come true. Yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. It is uh, a great honor to be a part of this world, and as a fan first, it's it's just like being in a big candy shop for months on end mm. with a cape, with a cape on. Your character's on the side of the Empire. Yes. Can you tell us about how he fits into the story and what makes him a great villain? I <coughs> I play Director Orson Krennic, who is the head of military intelligence and operations, and that means he is the guy that's building the Death Star or bringing it online. Uh, crucial to that is Galen Erso sitting here. Um, what separates him from, uh, I suppose, uh, a lot of the other villains, well, is first of all, he is just like, well, for want of a better word, a human. Um, and... Um, he is someone that's risen up through the ranks. He's a true believer. And once he gets this done, him going straight to the top, baby. Mm -hmm. Without giving away any spoilers, can you tell us about your character and his relationship to Jin? Well, his relationship is uh, that he's uh, Jin's father. Uh, and, and he is uh, working very tight with this man uh, uh, from the very beginning. I think they were probably 20 years old when they started creating this wonderful uh, thingy that has the potential of uh, making the world a better place. Uh, and uh, so that's his job, but he uh, ends up in a gigantic dilemma eventually. What was it like working with this international cast? It, it, was, it was fantastic. And it was, uh, for, for once, it was, um, there was a good reason for us to be, you know, from all kinds of places in the world. Uh, I mean, this is a universe that deals with, with creatures from other planets and other galaxies, and it would be weird if everybody came from the same country. Yeah, very much. I think the addition of Donnie and Jean um, in this is, uh, uh, is you know, fantastic. Particularly for Western audiences that haven't seen these guys, um, and to see what they can do and why they are, you know, some of the biggest movie stars on the planet. Um, it's a real, real treat. And for the rest of us, we will be seen by many, 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 many millions of uh, Chinese, mainland Chinese viewers, Hong Kong viewers, and all the other, the Asian provinces that, um, that these guys are, you know, phenomenally huge movie stars in. Gareth is the probably the number one Star Wars fan, um, you know, uh, that there is, you know, in the business, um, and he has uh, incredible passion for it. He has great knowledge, and um, he has a real dedication to bringing his own vision and to being faithful to the original and everything that's great about the original. Yeah, it's a risk always to have a big, big fan behind, behind the camera. Uh, but, but I think that, uh, I mean, in terms of, sort of handling this universe, he was obviously the man to do that because he knew everything about it. But, uh, but also, being our man, you know, eye level with us, putting the camera on his own shoulder and being there, making everything quite intimate, that is something you, you, you have to ask for in a director who's producing a Star Wars film. Mm. Okay, and lastly, can you each describe the film in just one word? Oh, boy, one word. Mm. Beautiful. Hey, oh, yeah. um, what do you want to say? Groundbreaking. That's more than one people, word. Once people have seen this film, groundbreaking is one word. In no, English, well, you know, you in English right. it's, elaborate it's, on it. Right, go for it. No, but you didn't Ground elaborate breaking. on yours. Yeah. No, yeah. groundbreaking is yeah. one word. Whatever. Thank you. Right? See, yeah, you I'm, I'm not from here. In, yeah, exactly. So don't tell me what one word is in English. See, this Anyways. is the problem with, with Galen Erso. He, he, it's, it's groundbreaking. When, once people have seen this film, once they have seen this film, they will understand why 
this film is not only like not not only not like any other Star Wars film. It's not really like any other film anywhere. It's it's what makes this film truly exceptional in my book. But they'll have to see it to, to understand why I say that about it. Independence Day Resurgence has been given a $200 million budget, $125 million more than Independence Day 1, which had a $75 million budget and had a box office result of more than $800 million, making it the highest grossing movie of 1996. Click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.